Hello, this is One Black British Woman's Voice and I'm about to share some information with you via a TikTok made by a woman whose name I've completely forgotten whatsoever and probably forgotten it because I know that TikTok's algorithm tends to promote white TikTok, so the black TikTok, so I'm quite sure that a black person's already broached this and I just haven't had a chance to see it because I haven't been shown it. Anyway, regardless, this TikTok is about George Floyd. And I'm not going to go into too much information. I just want you to watch and share it, basically. Um, I mean, the devil works hard, but racists, supremacists, Karens, they work harder. Anyway, here's a TikTok about George Floyd and what was done using his name. This is One Black British Woman's Voice, and I'm out. So yesterday I introduced you to Suzanne Meads, who, uh, thanks to Minneapolis Twitter, had been exposed as the person who's been grifting off of the name uh, George Floyd. She purchased his LLC. Uh, she purchased uh, the GeorgeFloyd.com website just uh, days after his murder in 2020 and has subsequently been profiting off of that ever since. Now, since being found out, GeorgeFloyd.com has been taken down. However, her Twitter page still stands. And yesterday, Minneapolis social justice activists were asking her, are you affiliated with George Floyd's family? Do you have their permission? Have any of the funds been donated to George Floyd's family? All valid questions for someone who's using his name to profit off of or to fundraise off of, right? Now, she starts to feel attacked and for some unknown reason, tags in this creator, film the police LA okay so then this person gets involved and absolutely destroys her he digs into the archives of her website and finds out on June 8th literally weeks after George Floyd was murdered she was posting reserve your copy of George Floyd a killing in the street with a non-refundable deposit on a book that hasn't even been written yet he then goes on to say that even though you're claiming you didn't ask for donations, if you go back to the archive of your website back in 2020, here it clearly states, donate now. You claim you're not making any money, yet other people on Twitter were able to find these t-shirts you're selling. George Floyd protest shirts, be seen, be safe. You know what else he found out, which I find extremely disgusting, extremely disgusting. A little known fact about George Floyd is that his middle name is Perry and his family referred to him as Perry when he was younger. And here you use his middle name, which gives the impression that you are actually part of the family, working on behalf of the family. But you know what the kicker of all of this is? Is when she got busted and when she was being called out, she resorted to, well, I'll just show you. No f human would ask for the b you monkeys have put us through. You what? You what? So you've been spending the last two plus years grifting off of George Floyd's, probably raked in hundreds of thousands of dollars, by the way, but here's how they truly feel. <laughs> Don't